my name is Gio from the Good Cup Coffee Company, Cebu. And today I will share with you how to brew iced coffee in two ways. First, through a French press and through a V60. So first, you will be needing your coffee. And then, you will be needing your grinder. If you don't have any grinder at home, you can use 30 grams of ground coffee with a medium coarse grind size like this one and then after that you will also be needing your weighing scale to achieve a more consistent and a better tasting cup of coffee and it's also important to have a kettle that will help you heat up water up until 94 degrees celsius to 100 degrees celsius and using a filtered water is also important because water plays a huge role in the coffee's taste. Next is your ice cube. Or you can also weigh in your ice cubes to 100 grams or 150 grams as this will help you achieve a more consistent and a better tasting coffee. So first, let's start off with the recipe. So the recipe that I normally use to brew or to make iced coffee is one gram is to 12 ml so meaning one gram of coffee is 12 ml of water so for today we'll be using 30 grams of coffee and then i'll be brewing 360 ml of water the reason why it's important to weigh in our coffee and at the same time are the volume of water that we brew this helps us achieve a better tasting coffee and at the same time we can also replicate it day by day as this will help us achieve a more consistent tasting coffee. Before we start, let's heat up and preheat the French press as this will help warm up the French press before we add the coffee grounds. And in the coffee world, we do this to sanitize also the brewing material. And after that, let's add 30 grams of coffee and then after adding the 30 grams of coffee let's then add and brew 360 ml of water so I just added 360 ml of water and then after that I'll wait up for around four minutes but before that, I will agitate the coffee grounds on the top for about five times. So as we wait for four minutes, let's talk about the coffee. So the coffee that I'm using today is a coffee from Honduras in a farm called El Puente, produced by a couple named Marisabel Caballero and Moises Herrera. For me, it's very important to know who are the producers or where the coffee is coming from because it helps me taste the craftsmanship of the farmers and by that it makes me feel connected with the product that I'm drinking so it's an overall experience and the grind size that I use for the coffee meaning how fine or how coarse the grind size of the coffee is for today we use a medium coarse grind size for me it helps achieve a balanced cup while having sweetness, a good acidity, meaning a sparkling acidity for this coffee, and the flavors, the natural flavors of the coffee. So we get to experience that. After four minutes, let's filter out the coffee from this French press, and then we will transfer it to the vessel with the ice cube. we were able to filter the coffee through plunging the French press let's transfer it to the other drinking vessel or the other carafe and you can see I placed the ice cube already here one advice is you weigh in your ice cubes by adding 100 to 150 grams because weighing in will also help uh, achieve a more balanced cup of coffee so after four minutes, I get to filter it out.
and then we have an iced coffee. So, my brewing recipe is using 30 grams of coffee and then adding 360 ml of water and a 1 gram of coffee is to 12 ml of water and lastly 100 to 150 grams of ice cubes. And then let's enjoy the coffee. So, my advice is to have a weighing scale, a kitchen weighing scale, and at the same time a timer. You can use your phone. The reason why these materials are important and also investing in a grinder is important because these are the brewing materials that help you achieve a more consistent coffee. Let's say you taste this coffee today, it's tasting good, but when you brew it again tomorrow without any weighing scale and without any timer, things may change and you will wonder why the coffee is tasting bitter or the coffee is tasting watered down. And uh, from there, to help you achieve a more consistent cup of coffee day by day, and you can also change things according to your preference, I would love to suggest um, brewing coffee using a weighing scale. Any kitchen weighing scale will do. So coffee is best when you grind it before brewing it. That's why I would love to suggest for you guys to invest in like a hand grinder or a manual grinder or even just a simple grinder at home because it makes a huge difference. Uh, grinding the coffee, let's say, a week before and you will brew it now, you will taste the difference because the coffee will taste a bit dull. That's why it's important to have a grinder. And at the same time, it's also important to have a good quality coffee because no matter how complete you are with your brewing setup and how good you are with your brewing technique, if you're using a bad a quality coffee, it will not taste great no matter how much effort you will bring in. So drinking coffee is a personal thing and it is best enjoyed on how you prefer it to taste. So if you want your coffee tasting sweet, you can add condensed milk or milk. You can also add a bit of sugar depending on how you are used to how or how you prefer coffee. But if you ask me, I would prefer drinking coffee black or as is because I would taste the craftsmanship of the farmer at the same time the flavors of the green coffee and at the same time how the roaster roasted the coffee and it will give justice to the farmer who produced the coffee. Next, I will share to you my recipe on how I make an iced coffee through a V60 or a pour over. So these are the things that you need. First is the V60. Next is the paper filter to filter out while you extract the coffee and the vessel with your ice cubes. I recommend for you again to weigh in your ice cube for about 100 grams to 150 grams. And lastly, your ground coffee. So for today, we'll be using 18 grams of coffee and we will be brewing 216 ml of water. And after that, we will transfer the extracted coffee to the vessel with the ice cubes. And that's how you make iced coffee with a V60. So first, I'm using an 18 grams of coffee with a medium grind size. And before that, let's preheat and pre-wet the paper filter to remove the papery taste of the V60. After that, let's add the 18 grams of coffee. So, I'm dosing 18 grams of coffee with a medium grind size, and I'll be pouring 216 ml of water by dividing it into three pours. The first pour will be 66 ml of water, and I just started my time. Next, I'll be pouring on the 30th second, 100 ml of water, giving me a total of 166 ml. And after the first minute, I'll be pouring again 50 ml of water with a total of 216 ml of water. So this recipe is using a ratio of one gram of coffee is to 12 ml of water. 
And as you can see, that all the water has already been extracted. And then from this vessel, we will transfer it to the drinking vessel with the ice cubes. So, 18 cups of coffee, 260 ml of water using about 100 to 150 ml or 50 grams of ice cubes with a total brewing time of 2 minutes to 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And let's enjoy our iced coffee. So we prepared a vessel with the ice cube inside and let's transfer the extracted coffee from this vessel. And now we have an iced coffee from the V60. So if you prefer your coffee sweet with a little bit of sugar, with milk, with condensed milk, feel free. Because for me, again, coffee is something personal. It should be something that you enjoy. Again, thank you for allowing me to share to you my recipe on how I prepare iced coffee at home. See you next time as we learn and I will also share to you my recipe on how I won the Philippine Brewers Cup Championship last March 11. Thank you and stay safe. Cheers!